as an auspicious occasion of the 8th graduation ceremony, Nabong OTTC is driven back from its humble beginning in 2007. Nabongo triplets consist of, Nabongo Junior Academy, Nabongo Senior Academy and Daystar University. Indeed it has been a long journey. From good to great. As I said, it was started in the year 2007. I was just about to retire. It was purely started to offer service to the community. Nabongo has once again rekindled life and registered. A sign of hope for many in this country. Nabongo Teachers Training College is 10 years old now. We opened our uh, doors to the students on 25th September the year 2007. And uh, we started by taking the poor students from our hometown of Butere and uh, our aim was to sponsor them, sponsor those ones who are vulnerable, those who could not make it and others came and joined them, those who are able, who can be able to pay fees and it has grown to this level. So my mind is driven back to our humble beginning in September 2007. I reckon that it is indeed a dream come true. This college has now passed out thousands of men and women who are doing their part in building the nation by shaping the lives, the lives of young people in every part of this country. decided to start up this college together with my late husband and uh, we've run it very smoothly. We do not have very many hitches. Maybe sometimes we lack money but the banks have been very cooperative with us so that uh, they, they sponsor some of our activities like when we have the graduation. Some of them bring us sodas, water and such like and uh, the whole community around Bungoma is very cooperative with this particular college. I've not known why, but I really have earned their favor and everything is moving on well. We particularly sponsor uh, children from very poor families. We pay fees for them. 
you come here you will find almost 20 students are not paying fees in a particular year they are sponsored by the college and we give them their certificates you can see even from the the, the head student he mentioned it and said some of them went with huge balances apart from those ones with huge balances which are normally written off there are others who are just sponsored totally and uh, I think we are doing a good job, especially to the girl child. And on behalf of the graduates, we are very grateful. It is very rare to find a college where one is allowed to sit for an exam with a huge fee balance of 60,000. Among the graduates, we have those who are owing a Madam Director as much as 60,000. That's fee balance. But because of uh, her good heart, she went ahead and allowed us to sit for our exam. Madam, we have nothing to pay you, but I want to say that it is only God I will pay you. All of us know about the lawyer culture that they don't recognize the girl child in fact when you ask a lawyer how many children he has he'll tell you about the boys only in terms of giving them the property and so the girls are totally neglected and that's why uh, I take keen interest because I'm a woman I take interest keen interest in the girl child Personally, my father was a very rich man with several acres of land. Several. I saw my brothers being given 120, 100, 150. And as a, a female child, I was not given any land. And uh, it pains me so much. And that's why I'm really for the girl child that they must be able to get something and also command the wealth of this Republic of Kenya. They must be empowered. I believe that women are just the same as men. And what a man can do, a woman can even do it much better. This college, I'm the one running it. Nobody else. Just with a few uh, children of mine whom I have taken to the university and have come back to help me. We are running it smoothly. But the person spearheading it is me. In my family, even for my daughters, I've empowered them. Everyone has his own home. I've sponsored to give them homes. 
what they do there with their husbands it's not my business but i sponsor them fully uh, when i give my son a permanent house a farm i also give my daughter and that's what i think the lawyers should learn to do we promote the girl child we want the the, the, the female child to be felt in the society in western region I think it is number one of the colleges that are participating both in academics and co-curricular activities. You see it when you come to our parades, you will find the girls are very many. And most of them are girls who have been rejected from their homes. They get the early pregnancies and the parents reject them. We sponsor such and we bring them here so that they can earn a living. I congratulate you, dear graduates. We are proud of you. Your performance has exceeded the expectation of many. You are a lucky lot because you have added value to your education. Go and serve well, but do not forget to further your studies in order to keep in step with the changing society. And uh, the lecturers teaching them, I pay them. And... Uh, they come up to be people in the society. This college is uh, registered with the Ministry of Education. They have recognized us fully, and uh, especially the way we are running it. Because they have realized that we don't run it only to, to give academics, but we also subject them to co-curricular activities. Population of the girls is four times that one of the gentlemen. So Nabongo, is a, a very good college we have trained teachers lecturers are uh, fully qualified we don't tamper with the employment of the teachers sons and daughters, as well as paying this peace on time, please enjoy the fruits of your labor. Listen to school, you find all the teachers are degree holders, and I think parents like our school, and also the way they take, we take them when it comes to payment of fees. We did not start it as a commercial entity. We started it as a service-giving entity. Since I was retiring from Mumia Sugar, that is Book Academy, I decided I want to still continue with giving service to the community. We expose our students to all activities, both in the field and in the classroom. Our students participate in drama, they participate in ball games, they participate in athletics and even music festivals. We thank Madam Director for persevering. It is not easy to reach there because you have to pay a lot of money to be a member of the Kenya Colleges Association. But Nabongo has been and will continue to be like that because we, aim, we know the aim of training a teacher. Even when you look at the fees that we started it with, it was meager. So our main aim was to give the service to the community. We were seeing a lot of children finishing school and falling onto border borders and we started luring them to come to the college. A commission of inquiry was appointed to investigate poor performance of students. Another commission of inquiry was appointed to investigate the commission investigating the matter. To make sure we get back our 60 out of 60 
the commission investigating the commission must no. to make sure poor officiation of examination is not repeated next time. The commission investigating the commission must. No. But ladies and gentlemen, we have decided to go back to schools and join our brothers and sisters who are in the same journey looking for education and promise to put all that is needed for us in our brains and promise in our brains as the commission is still investigating the matter. The center referee, Nabongo Production. Yote ya weze nana, bilandula, yote ya weze nana, oh, bilandula. The main aim was to make them uh, to be, you know, better people in the society. We seek to be the leading center of teacher training whose graduates serve the society with efficiency, diligence and dignity. We excel both in academics and CO curricular activities. We decided to look at the quality, the quality of the product that we're producing. When you go to the schools where those stu uh, students are teaching, you are told they are doing much better than their counterparts. You find them very strong. Okay, you cannot miss to have some weak ones, but the majority of our students are a power. I sometimes look at those ones who have graduated and I again pick the best ones to come and employ in the primary school. Like the head teacher I have in the primary school right now is the, it's, a, it's very powerful and is leading that school with a lot of diligence. My name is George Paul Randiga, the head teacher of Nabongo Junior Academy. I learned in this college before I came back to work in the same college and now I'm taking care yeah. of the Nabogo Junior. To get quality education, we have aligned our systematic institution to the Ministry of Education policy. Nabongo is actually special in the sense that we are following all that is required by the ministry. There's no shoddy work here. We are doing everything that a public college is doing. If it is co-curricular, students are out there for co-curricular co activities. If it is academics, we are very keen on the kind of lecturers we are taking to our classrooms. So I think it becomes the best one, preferred place for those children who don't get public colleges. Nabongo Teachers Training College, we activate the development of the society hence growth of the economic GDP. Right now, even the fees in the public colleges is higher than what we are offering in Nabongo here. And taken that we even sponsor some of them. We are very grateful. It is very rare to find a college where one is allowed to sit for an exam with a huge fee balance at 60,000. Among the graduates, we have those who are owing our Madam Director as much as 60,000, that's fee balance. But because of uh, her good heart, she went ahead and allowed us to sit for our exam. Madam, we have nothing to pay you, but I want to say that it is only God who will pay you. We are proud to have over 2,000 graduates mark the end of the two-year diploma course in different categories of their education. I think this is the best place and a special place for most of the students. So to the parents, I would like them to choose Nabongo Teachers Training College. We are having our, our intake in September. The, on 6th September we shall admit the, this year's batch and it is first come, first served. When we are full, when our dormitories are full, we close the door. I would like to tell the parents outside there that they should pick Nabongo as their college number one before they think of other colleges. What we offer, I believe, is the best. For Nabongo Teachers Training College, 
Education is top on the list as the TTC College of the Year operating within Africa and beyond. In fact one of its core values is adding value to education. It was for this reason that the institution recently played a pivotal role to a well attended graduation ceremony. We empower the young generation for the job market. I congratulate you on completing your two-year course in Diploma in Early Childhood Education and the, by the powers conferred to me by the Education Act 2011 of the Laws of Kenya, I have the pleasure to, to commission you to serve this country with commitment and dedication as teachers and I give you power to read and to do all that appertains to this diploma. We are marking the eighth graduation ceremony which uh, uh, reflects progress, progress of the college. The college having started in 2009, it has rolled out a good number of students who are doing well outside there. We want to advocate for more students to come over because we give quality training, quality education, we also give co-curricular activities. We faced many challenges as a college. We didn't have enough facilities, but with the help of our director, we got what we, exact, we needed and we tried to do our best and we even reached the national level in 2017, that is in athletics and in volleyball men. And we thank God because in everything that we've tried to do, we've always seen his hand. He has so shown us masses. And, yeah, we thank him. As a former student leader, I'm proud to be a member of Nabongo because it has trained me for the future, to be a responsible future citizen of this country. I took uh, the P1 course and I'm one of the graduates. I thank our lecturers because <laughs> they gave us quality education. I'm proud to be among the members of Nabongo TTC. I have been taking an ECT certificate course and I'm proud of my course. It's going to make my future to be successfully. It has conducive environment and it has made me to be a full teacher who can deliver according to the children. I congratulate Leo. At least I appreciate Mungu ku ni leta mbali mbaka hapa. Ni kama si yeye singekuwa hapa. Na appreciate your effort yenye ni biaka for the two years at least mzazi wangu hata hata una waste. It has been able to produce quality and competent teachers. So I would wish to request those who are outside can you please kindly come to Nabongo? because you will be able to achieve what is required of you. As the graduate, I tell Nabongo that they may continue with that spirit of power and they may produce so many students who have graduated like me. Those who are still in primary and high school, I encourage them to also join Nabongo teachers so that they will get quality education. Nabongo provides a conducive learning environment for all of us. Let's all join Nabongo for the future of our own. For the graduates, as you go into the market, remember to carry the legacy of the institution, adding value to education. And with that, I say God bless you in your career and all the best. I am proud of that school because we have qualified teachers and well-trained teachers. Kena itwa Esther, nasoma na Bongo Senior Academy, niko kidato cha pili, nafraye yo shule, cause iko na walimu mwenye wako qualify, na 
wote wame train na bongo is the best place to be na bongo is a place where you should be there you are watching tandao tv We pray that God continue lifting our college day by day. We pray for our visitors, guests, as they struggle back home. Give them journey masses. We trust, believe, and pray. Amen. I was, was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart Indeed it has been a long journey. Nabongo teaches training college, adding value to education. How precious did that grace appear Shining as the sun We've no less days To sing God's praise Than when we first begun Amazing grace Say